Hey, good morning, YouTube. Today we're gonna to go check out the infamous Country Squire Tobacco Shop in Jackson, Mississippi. All right, so I'm in Fredericksburg, Texas, and finally ready to try some 40 Lee from Country Squire. I'm out here at a traditional Texas bar patio. I'll give you a little tour here. Kind of a cool place they just opened up. I don't really bust this pipe out very often. Uh, it is one of my favorites. Uh, for those of you who are curious, it is a Rigoletto. I got it on Amazon about two years ago for maybe 45, 50 bucks. It's a steel. Very durable. Great smoker. Looks kind of cool. <laughs> so I'm gonna fire to shut her up. And see what we got. Now, I didn't take French in high school, and I haven't had the time to uh, Google what 40 lead means, but I'm just going to pretend I know what it means, based on what it tastes like. It's good already, I can tell you that right now. I love smoking this pipe. Just the angle on the stem, the way it hangs, the weight. It's, real, it's actually extremely light. I haven't had a lot of vapors lately, and that's what this is would be classified as. But uh Damn, it's good. I would say for the seasoned pipe smoker, if you smoke this uh, blindfolded, I, I think you'd be able to tell it, it is McClellan. But uh, with a little something extra, and it's kind of hard to put, put your finger on what that extra is. You know, a lot of people kind of sway toward the, the Latakias and the darker blends in the wintertime, but you know, over the summer I didn't get nearly as much bright leaf and uh, Golden Virginia is I had in previous summers, so I'm kind of, kind of hankering and craving that over this winter. Uh, Latakia blends aren't really speaking to me right now, but um, I'm looking for bright, and although this probably doesn't have any bright Virginia in it, or if it does, it's probably very small, it's... Um, it kind of masks itself as a bright Virginia tobacco. This is good stuff. There's just no way around it. And I'm someone who has a little bit of bias in the sense that I'm, I haven't had a lot of luck with brick and mortar blends. Uh, there's probably three exceptions. This is the third. So I'm now a fan of Country Squire. Uh, out of the four blends I bought, I've tried two. Uh, this is the better of the two so far. I'm also a fan of John Patton's and at least several of their blends. And blend recommender, uh, Adrian, out of uh, Nashville, Tennessee. I love some of his stuff too. A lot of other brick and mortar blends, I just haven't, um, I just love my Cornell and Deal stuff and Daughters of Ryan stuff so much that I, it's kind of hard for a brick and mortar blend to kind of pop into my top 10. But uh, this would be up there, in all honesty. I also want to show off a re recent uh, acquisition here. I got a gift of some rope from uh, James Foster in Austin, Texas. He gave me a nice little sample here of some German uh, Strang, or Strange, I think it's called. So I'm gonna save this 
uh, for later on in my vacation. I've already, I had two of these, I already smoked the first one. It was amazing. It was uh, somewhat similar to uh, Luxury Bullseye Flake, but with a twist to it. 